Right then, good morning people. Absolutely beautiful morning. Just clean the cameras. Sunday, 24th of March. Now this morning, we're doing a little charity ride for Dudley Mind, which is an organisation in Dudley, which does work and help with mental illness in the community. Uh, they're also supporting the YMCA and Alzheimer's UK. So it's a little ride around Dudley, meeting up at Himley to raise funds. So we are going there this morning. I'm on my own this morning, uh, the other guys couldn't make it. But I'll tell you what, this morning, oh man, it's like a summer's morning. It's absolutely beautiful. So, I think it's going to be time for a bit of sun visor action. And I can never find it on this helmet. That's it. So, we're not going to film too much of the way there. I'll switch the cameras back on when we get there. So, I'll speak to you soon. Well then, we are approaching Himley Hall. So, oh, I don't know how many uh, bikes are going to be here. I think last year, Dudley Mine Road, I think 2018 was the very first one they did. Um, I don't remember seeing much about it, so I don't know how many riders there were or anything about the events. I know. Um, reading on the Facebook page, I think they're putting a few things on on the site itself, on Himley Hall, I think there's I think there's like obviously food stands, I think there's live music and I imagine some other activities for the kids and families um, we probably won't be staying for those, we're probably going to do just the ride and then head back, grab a few shots and we'll head our way back home, uh, it's an absolutely stunning day for it we are now officially in spring, so we need more of this blue sky please, more of it, some nice on. Yep, so today we've took the thermal lining out of the jacket, we've got just a t-shirt on underneath, fitting my heated grips. Last weekend, obviously no need for them today, so I've probably had the one day's use out of them this year, until next winter. I got the leather trousers on today instead of the Oxfords. I don't need all the the waterproofing and the lining. So I've got my good old, my good old battered leathers on. The funny thing is, though, I haven't seen many bikes on route to it or on the road. Actually, I mean, it's now eight minutes past nine. They said be there from around nine-ish onwards for registration. Uh, but I would have thought I would have saw a few more by now. But you never know, I might get there, I might be the only one which registered. So I might be the only one doing the ride. We left a pop there as well one time. I bet we could get some good shots of that. The Crooked House. Down there. And it's literally, it's like this. Everything's on the peace trail. So I'm not sure what the route's going to be from Himley Hall today. I think it's a 19.7 mile route, that thing, so I said it's just about an hour's ride. It's not a big thing. Um, I believe it's going to be marshalled as well. There's going to be marshalled. There's no traffic management, so none of the roads are going to be closed. None of the traffic lights are going to be. So it's going to be if you hit the lights, you've got to stop and then just catch the group up later on. Oh, I hope it's like this when we go to Wales. Oh, it would be good. Nice bit of blue sky around those mountains. Himley Hall and Park. Right, turn the music down. So we are to keep going on, so. I wonder what must be the next turn. Oh, I thought that was the only turning. But saying that though, I can, through the little gaps in the fence, I can see something in, in there. 
pretty sure I can see some bikes, so let's find out where the entrance is. Or is this the is it this one? It's that one there. Ah sh sugar plum! We need to turn around. We need to turn around. Where can we turn around? Can we do it here? I don't know. No. Oh. Donkeys. Turn right, Craig. Cole's car boot. All right, Cole. How many boots you got for sale? Come on, love, you can turn right there. You donkey. Okay, we're turning around. We are turning around. That's it mate, I think. Is he? No, he's not coming with us. Or is he? He is, he's turning round. He's done the same as me, he's missed the entrance. Well, good move mate. I should have done that. But no, I did the correct thing. I followed the highway code. I turned right at the lights. And then I did a UE. He basically did a UE on the lights. Just about. Well, there's a few here. I'll tell you what. We could have been the drone here. No way. Look at this. Oh yes. Oh yes, Craig. Bring the drone. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh, that'll be good. That will be good. Well, there's a few here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I take it we are parking up here. Righty then. Right, I'm going to switch off now, peeps. What is some footage will be popped.
I used to have one of those in front. GSXR 1998, brand new. Black and red. The only bike I've ever had, a brand new. And I think it was called, I think it was Carnell's in Birmingham, a dealer. I don't think they're going anymore. Yes, and I um, smoshed it up. It went over the bridge on the way to work. I did the old classic mistake. It was a November morning. Roads were damp. It was a little bridge. I went over the bridge. I wouldn't say I flew over the bridge, but as I come over the other end, the front end was up. And as I come down the bridge, a car pulled off an industrial estate on the left. And I did a stupid thing as I pulled the front brake while the front wheel was in the air. So obviously the front wheel was locked and as soon as it hit the floor, bosh, I went. Went down the road, bike bounced from underneath me. I ended up doing quite a few gambols and the last one, as I was tumbling, I landed back up on my feet. So I kind of, uh, I run like running out of the gamble, but as I was running, I noticed I was running to the left hand side. And that was when I looked down and found out like my kneecap was like on my back, <laughs> it was completely mangled. So I sat on the curb. I believe my boss at the time, Jimbo, Jim Geverty, I think he was coming past. So we got the bike pushed into a local garage, got me home then, did the old usual, a visit to the hospital to go and get me mangled leg sorted. And that was the end of my GSXR, but I think mine was the 600, I'm not sure what that is, can't see from here. It looks like an S-Rad. I feel a bit lonesome today, I ain't got much to say. without all these bikers and I'm talking to myself. It's funny because people always like to see bikers out, they always wave and get the cameras out. And then we get so much stick for it. You love us and you hate us. I'll tell you what, that's brave how he's got his phone on that Suzuki. Let me just have a see if I can have another look. He's got it on a bulldog clip. <laughs> That's definitely one way of holding your phone on. Good luck for that, mate. If your phone today is hot, can you see it? I can see it. He's got it hanging off his bar here. Yeah? A clip. Just, just clipped onto his phone like that. Each to their own, I suppose. I've had enough phone problems recently, I wouldn't be want to be doing it with a bulldog clip. Double glazing. And you look at them now, nobody wants that, it's out of fashion, so... I don't think he was very happy with the bikes. We'll have to come there as well with a drone over some of the Dudley Castle ruins. Not very big though, so you'll probably do that in one flight. I remember coming down here on my way to work one morning when I lived in Dudley and I come down this buzz route and waiting just there was a police officer and he pulled me over and I had an on the spot £60 fine. And ever since then I've never gone down that buzz lane. I learnt my lesson. So when I went home and told the wife, I've got a £60 fine. Should have just moshed me face in.
Oh, there's my local dealer, Street Bike Hellzoin. What if I should pop in? <laughs> Well, I think this is where I exit the road. We've done a big loop round, so I'm back in my hometown now. So I think I might carry on a hop. Yep, I think I will. Nice riding with you peoples. See you all again soon. Hopefully some of you get to watch the video. I don't know what we've got planned next. We need to try and get. We need to try and get out to Clay Hill on a Saturday with the drone. I mean that we could do in a Saturday morning. We also need to do this Eatnor Castle in Mulvern. Now that might be we may have a bit longer, so we need to plan that one. So I think it might be Clay Hill next. Until then peeps, that's it for this one, we will see you on the next one, hopefully it'll be a sunny morning and hopefully there'll be a few more of us out and we'll get the drone up, get some footage, because that clay hill looks amazing. So for now, catch you later.